replacing my dash lights, uh, my speed and my uh, RPM uh, lights on my 99 Land Cruiser. Just a quick video. Uh, you just wanna pop this panel off. You can easily do so by grabbing a interior panel remover tool. It's just basically a plastic flathead. And I still have my wire connected just so that way I can see exactly which lights I want to replace, which is the blue, pink, and the blue. There's another light bulb here, but there's an issue with the motherboard on this side. Deal with it later. You also have a white light here and a white light there. When you pull this panel off, there's going to be one screw, one small screw here, one small screw here. Um, one here one here as you can see screw is not there because i already took them out a cloth here and i just pretty much take my cloth and spread it around um, so that way if the screw drops it doesn't drop inside of your dash so again I'm gonna just I'm gonna screw this bad boy and you already you guys already can figure you know that by unscrewing this screw, it's lowering this panel here. Right. Sometimes the last screw you actually have to, yeah, that last screw you actually have to just let it drop itself. And as you can see, that screw drop. Oh, here it goes. Look at that. See? Drop right there. I'm going to turn the panel off. And it's a complete panel. Let's see, you gotta get in it. Gotta get the knob out of there. And by having a stairwell like this, you can pretty much just fish it, kind of fish it in through some, lift it up some, and slide her out some. The reason why I'm replacing my light bulbs is because one, the lights are too big. Um, they are not the 74 bulbs um they're like t something um which is a bit oversized the proper size that we need is this um these are led by led lights uh number 74 and they're a mix between blue and pink all right so just to explain to you the setup here we have a blue light pink light uh these lights are all for my speed uh pink and blue uh for my rpm and then on the side behind here we got a white light and another white light uh you need to completely remove your instrument cluster um on the far left and the far right those screws are to pretty much keep your instrument panel um, from moving the middle left and the middle right or to pretty much keep the wire harness um, connected to your instrument panel. The wire harness is pretty much what, uh, you know, controls all of the electronic uh, data. So as you can see, blue light works, pink light works. That pink light does not work because I have a actu I have a uh, issue with the motherboard. The motherboard is just basically a sticky pad motherboard that is just mounted to the back of this plastic instrument panel. Um, that's the way that they did it. Um, I'm pretty sure there's probably other vehicles that's done the same. Anyhow, um, you can always replace that, uh, panel. So the light bulb pretty much fits inside here. Um, this is a aftermarket one. A replacement. You got a bulb. This is the oversized bulb. And you got your little base here. And pretty much what happens is that it goes inside like so. Now, let's give that a shot with the actual smaller one. I'm just trying to get a good measure of if I can stick this thing back in more. Oh yeah, you definitely can stick this thing down more. All right, 
so what we got to do is we need to take this damn thing out. We need to take that out. As you can see, I, I've already taken this screw off. Um, I've unscrewed this screw. I'm going to unscrew these two, uh, the middle two screws, which they just unloosen. They do not come out. And I'm going to completely remove this dash panel. This is the much easier way to do it by taking everything off um, the front panel off. Um, there's a lot of people that would leave it on, leave everything on and experience a lot of hardships trying to get this bad boy off. But let me just show you. So again, you're just unscrewing. I like to start unscrewing on each side to kind of make it equal. You see it starting to move some. It takes a couple of tries, well, times to get this bad boy loose. Right, so what I typically do is kind of bring it out to figure out which one's loose. And it looks like both of them are loose now. All right, so now you want to, it's hard to do it with one hand. Trust me, you guys will have it much easier. Now you can just grab it and readjust. There we go. And just slide it right out. Bon appetit. And as you can see, that's 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 the much easier way. Versus having this thing on it and trying to, you know, get your steering wheel to uh, golly down, but it won't. That's the pain in the rear, man. So there's four, one, two, three, four. This one is missing because it's plastic, man. And plastic have a tendency of stripping. If you guys didn't know. A couple of other small screws, so I'm good anyway. All right, so now as you can see, oh, that's, that's awesome. The screw actually fell. And, I mean, the light bulb actually fell inside. That's cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is grab this and force it. Force it inside. There we go. Now she's nice and tight. What you want to do is pay attention to where you see the initials of V2. So when this thing is installed, V2 is like that on each side. Okay, so V2 will be pointing here on this side. Let me actually, so V2 will be pointing on this side of the board, that side of the board. Um, V2 is pointing up here. V2 is pointing up here, this side. Uh, V2 is pointing lower. The lower side and v2 is point lower side take no matter what i say take a picture of the direction that you see your v2s at um if you install them the opposite way what you're going to find out is when you put your panel back on that the lights aren't working so then you got to take it off and you got to do it all over again Trust me, it has happened to me multiple times. And I'm going to reinstall it. Uh, so what pretty much forms the communication is these little magnet, magnetize things there. All right, so we're gonna see if we can get this in the board. First, it takes some time to actually get it right. You want to also kind of peek through to make sure the magnets or the metal, <clears throat> excuse me, metal clips are touching the actual motherboard. Again, it's just a 
it's like a, a vinyl panel strip of a motherboard that's just pretty much mounted down <clears throat> all right so we replaced our bulbs i replaced the white light with the pink blue that one's broken because it's an issue with the motherboard uh this is pink that's blue and that's pink um we're good to go here uh these lights are for like park neutral drive um these are like bulbs for your uh, warning lights um some check engine some uh for abs and all the other good junk which i believe my abs is like underneath here anyhow um let's get this installed so what i'm gonna do now is just lay this puppy down here take this here and just whoosh, run it through like so and then slide her down get into the connectors here so you got a connector here connected there so i'm just gonna manually feed her in those connectors kind of lift up and lift down you'll know exactly when you're connected it's something that you can definitely feel. There we go. Pop that piece back on there. So what I typically do is turn that on while that's still connected. And this basically helps me know when to This basically helps me know when exactly if I'm connected to the wire harness. Now, back of the wire harness, it has these clips that you can basically remount them um, to have them fixed when you reinstall. Uh, what I found, even when you have it fixed, uh, reinstalled, it's still a pain in the rear to get it all hooked up. So as you can see, we got our lights back. Um, let me open the door. So we do not have our open door. So we're not there yet. So we'll just keep screwing. So as you can see, now we got our open door. Kind of, so now you guys. Yep, I got this with two hands. Cause what you want to do is kind of level this out some, so that way you can get the screw to find its hole. So let me put you guys down. So I got that screw mounted. Um, you do want to use your left hand to kind of hold it up and pop the screw in. So that way you can get it in there nice and secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one and I'll put you guys down again. All right, guys, so we got that screw and we got a far right screw. Uh, that's gonna start. Go ahead and check again. Our lights work. Again, that light has an issue with the motherboard. It's not getting a secure connection. Uh, with the lights being so bright the way that it is, uh, it's nothing that I'm gonna really stress out. You can always eventually um, find uh, a, another cluster where i'm gonna turn the lights back up so you can see this is this is low not too low so we're going to increase the brightness to see how bright it gets and that's bright again it's low leds tend to have a flicker when you lower it but once it gets a certain level uh it'll stop flickering so again, that's low and that's bright. So these lights are pretty bright, brighter than the stock ones. So what I'm gonna do now is put our, let's put the case back on again. 
It's actually simpler to just do it with the door open because you got all this space right here to pretty much get her in there. Again, just working my way through. All right, so what you want to remember, let me close this door now, get rid of that glare, turn the light off. So keep in mind that you need to get this little needle through the hole. All right, I'm back again. All right, so I finally got it in there and make sure it works. Still clicks, all right, good. So now, got my cloth back down because now I'm not trying to fool around with losing these daggone screws, man. I tell you, man, losing the screws, the pain in the rear. phone down just to get her in Ooh, nice and snug all right so now turn back on and excuse the oh, there we go excuse the glare we got the sun beaming down everything's just beaming down but that's that's as bright as she'll get um you know let's lower it So that's low and that's bright. It's good enough, man. As good as as she'll get, baby. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Alright, so now we got our mini Phillips screws to four. Bam bam. Uh again my phone is not trying to be great, bam and bam. We're just gonna go ahead and mount each side. Um, one side goes in there, and the other side goes in there. Just slap her in there. Make sure that we don't get the wire in the way. So we'll just move that around. Move the wire. Push the wire to the to the right. So we got our wire to the right. There to the side there and just make sure we just push it in and there we go and that's that